All right, hi everybody. Just hiked up to one of my favorite mushroom spots. The first thing I saw was that. Can you see it? Let's get closer. Look at these. Perfect shape for eating. Those are shaggy manes. Isn't that cool? I'll pick one and give you one more look. There it is. Caprinus comatus, I think, is the Latin, but we call them shaggy manes. I've also heard lawyer's wig. Um, these things start to turn black and turn into ink as they mature, but these are perfect for eating. They're really fresh. All right, I've cleaned them up a little bit, and here they are, shaggy manes. Isn't that great? I always recommend you clean your mushrooms as much as you can in the field. It'll make it a lot easier when you get back home, trust me. But yeah, it's a great start to the day. Oh man, this is so cool. Check it out. Three little shaggy manes right here, growing right up out of the gravel. They tend to do that. A couple feet down, and we have this beautiful cluster right here. And as I walk even further down this gravel road, oh, there's another one. Oh, that's so awesome. It's turning out to be a shaggy mane day. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I was so excited about finding mushrooms. I actually just left my backpack. I had to hike back about 50 yards. <laughs> so I'm starting to not think straight, I guess. I'm too excited about mushrooms. Kind of explains how people can get lost when they're out hiking for mushrooms and that kind of thing. You get so excited. So um, yeah, you've seen me forget my knife in another video. This time it was my bag. Fortunately, I wasn't too far. And as a bonus, I saw another shaggy mane on my way back. <laughs> Somebody else along this road likes mushrooms. Look at the size of this guy. That big old banana slug eating a mushroom. We'll just leave him be. He can have that one. Here's another little mushroom right here in the gravel. At least that's what I thought until I found out it's a rock. <laughs> oh well. So seriously, I can't believe the luck I'm having today with these. Look at these. More shaggy manes. These are a little muddy, but they'll clean up just fine. A few more poking up over there. That's so cool. All right, so apparently I'm in some sort of shaggy mane heaven today. <laughs> there are so many. Here's some more, and I want to show you this one. Look at this one on the right. That one is starting to do its thing. I think it's called Deliquess. They turn into this black kind of ink. Let's see if I can hold the camera and show you. Yeah, look at that. And that's essentially the spores. That's how they, they reproduce, how they do their thing. So I would not recommend eating them when they're like this. But if we look over at these, those look great. As I was hiking out, I saw these. And I just had to stop and show them to you. These little guys, aren't they cute? That's called orange peel fungus. Not too hard to imagine where the name comes from, but I think they're a neat little mushroom. Such a cool color. All right. I made it back home with this nice little batch of shaggy manes. I would have loved to stay out there longer and find some more, but I just didn't have time. I had to get back. That's okay though. I'm really happy with these and I'm excited to show you how I finish cleaning them and how I prepare them. Um, I think the first step anytime you bring home wild mushrooms should be to make sure that you have what you really think you have. I am positive these are shaggy mane mushrooms. If I wasn't, I wouldn't be eating them. And I certainly hope you have the same approach. It's just not worth the risk when it comes to wild mushrooms if you're not totally certain of your identification. I did want to show you one more time. Uh, I pulled out this one right here, this little guy. If we look, you can see along the edges here, it's starting to turn into that inky black um, substance that these ultimately completely turn into. This is not bad. This one can be saved. I'm not going to eat that, you know, that last little bit, but I'll save the rest of this for cooking. Um, and most of these you can see, if I grab another one here, they're really nice. They're not, that process hadn't started at all. So these look great. I know I said it's important to clean them in the field and I've already done that, so they're not too bad, but there's a little bit of dirt and grit on them still. Washing them is a bad idea. We want to get rid of the water in them, not add more. So the best thing to do, just grab a paper towel and you know, a nice dry paper towel and just wipe off any sand or grit or dirt that's still on them. So I'm gonna do that. I won't make you watch that part, but I'll turn off the camera, get these cleaned up and we'll go from there. Okay, and this part is pretty simple. Got the pan nice and hot. A little bit of butter in there. About a half tablespoon, maybe. Oops, come on, butter. There we go. And here they are. 
Not all of them were okay to save, but most were pretty pretty good. Oh, that looks great. And a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Well, I'd say these are just about done. They smell great. And you can eat them straight just like this, or you can do one of my personal favorites, which is to make an omelet with shaggy manes. I think that's what I'll do with these. So that's all there is to it. I just take a plate with a paper towel. I'm right on there. And there you have it. Shaggy Mains for breakfast tomorrow. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.